Hello YouTube, we're trying to sharpen some of these split point bits. See what that's flat? Watch this flat spot. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Look, 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 here's the cutter edge over here, but watch this flat spot over here, okay? See how this comes up? Can you see that little intersection? See where it's kind of shiny in there? There's your cutter edge. Just want to show up on camera. See your cutter edge? See that? That's why you can't sharpen these. I can't sharpen them on a grinder. You drill things. It'll do split points. Let me show you what I did to touch these up. And I'll show you how long I've had these and where I got these at. Let me get it on the tripod here. Okay. Let's use this for a pointer. And then we'll show you. you. See how this, the back. See how they cut the back of these off? But see how this is lower than the cutting edge? Can you see that? It should be. The back edge should be lower than the cutting edge. Okay? The cutting edge is higher. I think you can see it right there. Okay? But these have that weird in here where it starts. It's almost impossible to film this way on the Maybe it's the way the lens of a camera is made. This is what I did to clean them up. They had some burrs on it. I've got my diamond rod and it is tapered, right? So I'm laying it right down. Look around the camera. Right down against here, okay? And I've been sitting there honing these. And it ain't like a file. You can't drag it backwards thing, whatever. I always think of that. So you're dragging that backwards. So I took the burrs off of this, all right? Okay. Then I came around here and I, I, I kind of touched it up. I kind of honed it like, uh, remember the fat parts at the back, the big parts at the back. So you're going to take more off here, like I said, where it's got to be lower. So you really can't screw it up just by kind of just, you know, I sat here and did better than I'm doing now. But I sat here and honed this. And then came up and did the edge. I said, don't try to sharpen your edge and you get it so that your edge is lower than back here. That's what I'm trying to explain. If you do machining on a lathe and cut, you'll, you'll get used to cutting tools and it kind of helps you on a drill bit. But this is what I did, okay? And I touched these two bits up. And I'll show you where I got these. These came in a grab bag of who knows how many years ago I got. I don't know what that sticker means, 2001 or whatever. They'd sell these at Harbor Freight. You don't know what was in it. And it was only like four or five bucks. I, I just grabbed, I grabbed a couple years ago. Okay. Now, I've got one. I did the same thing here. This is a 5 16 I don't know what size that is. Some of them weren't even marked. But it is bigger. Maybe you'll see it. Okay, this is what I did. Here, here's a test hole before I filmed. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to apply pressure with either hand, whatever's not making a shadow. I mean, that if I make a shadow, that might not make a shadow. Uh, let's get you down here really close. This, this is worth your price of admission. If you can't drill by hand with this drill bit in aluminum, well, you, you're foolish to think you're going to stick it on steel to making a shadow. I want you to see where you can see the chip come out. Ready? Let's push down real hard with my right hand. Then we'll stop. Geez, I'm out of breath doing that. That took a lot of pressure. You see that? See what they're both cutting? You're both cutting equal. I'm not a machinist, but I've watched them guys here. Don't blow it out. You see that? Ain't that kind of neat? That's that's the way to test it. I don't know what thickness this is. What? It might be like twenty thousand. This come out of some old uh, heat sink off something. Ain't that neat? Let's see if I can fit it down in here. It's just a goof off video. Oh, I got it back in there. See if we can make it a little bit longer. 
Ah, it's starting to spin on me. One-handed. Think of this is all you had to drill with. This is my handle that I took the cheap handle off. There, and then it finally broke them out. See how it makes a weird shape? That's what's tr one trouble these bits I found out. Uh, I like to just sometimes start with a bit I'm going to drill the hole with. See how it's not an actual round hole? Okay, so we're going to take the cordless drill and then finish drilling this. So, having fun drilling. Yeah, I put a better handle on this off the Sears barbecue stuff. And I've got a real small one. It is a hole of 5 16 that goes quarter in. And all you do is loosen it. It's just like a drill truck. See? Nice handy tool. Believe me, I've used it on plastic or something. Hey, let's pause. Let's put that drill bit in the cordless drill and see what happens. I'm going to put on some kind of glove or I'm, I'm going to vice grip this in case it goes spinning and don't slice my hand open. Okay, are we ready? You know, that's like I say. They, these are, some people call them self-starter bit. But I've seen bits where it has an actual miniature bit on the end and it gets bigger. Here we go. I got a vice grip, see? You can hang on out of your fingers. See how it's not round? It looks like a triangle. Yeah. And this is what I was using on my lantern can that day. And I found a drill bit that I was See that? I didn't realize this until I bought a set of these. See? Safety first. See? See it run on camera. That's why I'm using a little bitty battery drill. See how jagged that hole is? Okay, let's try it on a piece of steel. We'll try that next. I hope my fan's not interfering. Let's just go with the old cheap C-clamp we was doing one day. We used it in a video. And this thing may go flying. Like that, get that can out of the way. Ready? Can we get the light in here? What's it gonna take? Get the lighting right here. I may have to pause. Let me pause. Okay, we had to deal with a fly that kept bothering me. Here we go. Supposed to be self starting, we're not even using a center punch. I don't go the right way. I mean, this is cheap steel, but... I put this on normal steel, not nothing, no hard and cool steel. We're going to stop before we go all the way through. You know, it's just cheap steel. We know it is. I'd say that ain't too bad. Let's go ahead and be brave. We'll try it on a piece of regular old, whatever you want to call it, cold rolled, whatever hunk of steel I use my little anvil thing. Okay, we're going to resurface one side that's on our big belt sander someday, so we don't care about one side. But this works good. For uh, pounding on stuff. Let's just stick it right on there. Let's not find a rust hole crater. Let's see what happens. This, remember, this is just cheap electric drill. It's not even a powerful one. There, I proved the point. Oh, he's out of breath. He's going to pass out. See, a lot of pressure and slow RPM can cut better than high speed. See how it's not perfectly round, though? That's not a bad bit, huh? And I just honed it up, just like with the other one. I just did a fine honing, took the burrs off. Of course, you're going to need a diamond rod to do it, because you ain't going to do it with a file. I don't know if that was focused against there. You're not going to do that with a file. A file will not grab that. You can almost see where I got down here. Let's get back on the white. You can almost see 
the difference in the shiny where I was scrubbing it with that diamond tool. So I got two nice bits. A 5 16 and whatever size this is, I have no idea. Let me pause here and let's look and see what else we got in this selection that's worth saving. Okay, out of all them, I only picked three worth saving. As I said, I am no good at sharpening bits. In fact, I went over and practiced before I made this video. This one's kind of unique. It's got a weird whatever defect in it. But, split point. This one doesn't look like it was really used. So it's hard to explain that. I lost my thing for a pointer here that I was honing with. How these bits come up when they're sharp clear up in here. You just can't get this way on the camera and show it. I'll snap some photos at the end so you can see how these are made. But, you know, if it was like a bit for the lathe, I'd call it like the back relief cut or whatever. See, and it's always lower. Just remember, you want certain that this has to be lower than the cutting edge. You get them cheap bits and they're equal and they don't cut. They just sit there and spin and spin in the metal and they look sharp. That's the problem. And the angle on these, huh, without getting out my angle thing, are they even the same? Is there any two of them even the same on here? It might depend on who built them. Let's hold it up to that one. I've got a gauge somewhere and I cannot find it or I would have found it for the video. But it could be different for a split point. This one's still working on a little bit. This has a little burr up in there. A little bitty burr right up in here. Yeah, I said I tried to get close to camera. Right up in here, there's still a little bitty burr. I said, but I was going down this way. Because we know it's bigger in here. Back here than up here. So when I was honing it. So, you got all, I mean, what do you got to lose? They were laying around in the, in my junk drawer. You just have nothing to lose. That's it. Too long a video on this. Playing with drill bits. Uh, this one might be savable. This could be like a 3 8 so These are high speed steel bits and they're older. They're probably better. See, that's good for demonstration model. See how the back is lower than the front see that it has to be lower so it cuts and this might be worth saving it needs a little bit of work because this is messed up see this I don't remember doing that trying to sharpen it because look how nice this edge is why would this edge be so screwed up so it's just mangled this is what I'm gonna go try to work on on the disc sander and I have my own ways of spinning them so I don't want to show anybody how to sharp a drill bit on a grinder there you go three good bits out of the garbage whatever size they are high speed steel with a split point so thanks for watching this too long a video I should put it in a title boring drill sharpening video drill bit sharpening put it in the description we're out of here. We had enough of this. We'll try to get some photos.